So what excited you about Charlton Athletic? Well, uh, in fact, I uh, bought uh, this club because uh, I believe that, uh, first, it is because it's in London, and of course London is a uh, city uh, which is a very uh, big city. But also, if you look into London, I, I really believe that Charlton is the best club in London, potentially, long term. Huh? And uh, why? Because of its history, huh? the, the way the fans have been uh, constructing the club uh, over the years, also because of the work of the Community Trust, which is an example to the rest of the world. And uh, so, in my mind, huh, I, I think it's a fantastic club and uh, it's a really a club you want to be associated with if you think about football in England. What is your strategy for the club? So, other than staying up now, which is the crucial thing and the most, uh, most important thing, we want, in fact, the people to enjoy themselves when they come to the stage and they see this as a, a meeting place. And, of course, this is... Uh, uh, a question also of develop, developing the academy because we see that young players who play here are very appealing. We try to do this by improving the stadium, which we've done already to a very large extent, and we may continue to do. We are also doing that by uh, working on the training ground. And of course, I think in the uh, development of the club, we should always be uh, uh, in very good relation with the community trust and. and try to help them also in their work because it's very important for the, the, the club and, and the, the feeling of uh, 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 communion which we need to create in, in the club. I think as we know, you own a number of clubs around Europe. Can you explain how Charlton fit into that? Well, it's one of the clubs of uh, the network, and, uh, but uh, Charlton is uh, a club which is managed uh, in its own right, with its own management, with, uh, which takes its own decisions and so forth. In that sense, it is uh, a club which is uh, comparable to many other clubs here. The benefit of the network uh, is that uh, some expertise is shared huh, on medical stuff, on uh, scouting, obviously, but also on other uh, specialties, uh, football science and so forth. How much to say do you have in team matters? I don't have uh, any say at all, huh? in a sense. Uh, that is uh, clearly the responsibility of the, in this case, of Jose. Huh? Uh, why? Because uh, it's, uh, he is responsible. How can you uh, uh, give responsibility to somebody and uh, make him accountable if he cannot uh, uh, choose his own players? That's impossible. When uh, we came here, obviously I was involved uh, a little bit more huh? uh, and I also attended some discussions with uh, renewal of some players uh, with Catherine because it was fairly new to her at that point in time as well. And uh, the going forward, uh, I found from then, we, uh, in fact, uh, the club has been doing much more on its own because, of course, I have so many other things to do as well. But nevertheless, I'm always available huh? if there is a, an urgent need or if there is a, uh, a problem like now, huh? I'm available, I'm here huh? to, to try to help to solve the problems because that's, uh, uh, that's how we need to work. And, uh, but uh, clearly the, uh, the, the management uh, in, of the club and also now since Jose is here, he will certainly have more influence also. In fact, we have always uh, in, involved also the uh, head coach in the choice of the players. Huh? Would you welcome any outside investment or indeed any interest from somebody else who wants to buy the club? Well, no. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that people are interested to acquire this club. But OK, it's, uh, look at this. It's a fantastic, uh, it's a fantastic club. And uh, the thing is, I, I've been now involved for uh, about two years. Huh? And OK, we made some mistakes. But well, I have other activities where we also have processes to learn from our mistakes and that's what we try to do here. Uh, it was a uh, British club which is new to me huh? and uh, I'm confident that uh, with the work we are doing like improving the site here with the, also the work we're doing in the academy right now, the, the work we, we do which we do not only uh, in the work with the players but also on the uh, training ground 
I think we uh, we can achieve a very nice future for the club, huh? and that's what well, well, what I want to do. Huh? Will you be investing more in the club? Well, we invested uh, way more than uh, previous owners and uh, owners before that. I think the uh, uh, stadium here has been um, refurbished to a very large extent already. We are investing in the training ground. We're investing in the team. So, uh, but the lo we have to be realistic. We uh, need to have a sustainable model because uh, if you don't do that and you depend as a club on an owner, huh? it, I don't think it's a good uh, model. I've done it now a few years by over-investing, by the way. Huh? But uh, historically, uh, Charlton has had a few moments with uh, big problems huh? financially. I think that's uh, very bad, and so uh, that's the reason why any club should try to strive to a model whereby they are self-sustainable, and that's what we try to do.